Look how son. Uh, yes. Easy money is coming to an end. Is mm. that cause for concern? Of course, uh, easy money was important to support the uh, financial system from uh, debacling, and it was successful, and it has uh, been supporting economic re recovery. So at least in many countries now, uh, it is time to normalize. But the speed of uh, normalization uh, can be different in between countries. Uh, the BOJ, for instance, is still seeking uh, uh, the similar expansionary policy to make uh, deflationary uh, I mean, fight uh, uh, more solid, yeah. Uh, do you see a financial risk mm. from the end of easy money? Uh, in a sense, uh, some countries uh, might feel that uh, the, the investment in real estate and uh, borrowing in the exchange rate, uh, foreign exchange denominated uh, debt, uh, uh, they might have uh, some impacts. But generally speaking, Asian countries uh, have now much stronger base uh, of uh, growth and also uh, good governance of the financial system. Does that apply to emerging countries in Asia as well? Because I think they're so. the most at risk. Yeah, I think so. And uh, there was a talk that uh, some countries in ASEAN and the India might be affected by the kind of uh, uh, reversal of uh, capital. But uh, so far, because of uh, a uh, well-noticed uh, gradual approach by Fed and others, I think it is not happening. So what is more important to Asian countries is to continue to seek uh, pass through good uh, macroeconomic policies and uh, structural reforms. Is there complacency? Mm -hmm. Because there is a feel-good factor both in the economy mm -hmm. as well as uh, the markets. Mm -hmm. Is there concern that this complacency could lead to a crisis? Yes, so maybe in the previous crisis of 2007 to 2008, maybe it was uh, without a clear idea about uh, the risk and so on. There was uh, some already mentioning before that, but it was not so much. This time, I think uh, people already are uh, very attentive to this, this kind of concern. In China, for instance, the systemic risk to financial system, including from uh, debt of uh, local uh, governments and uh, SOEs and so on, the real estate uh, prices, they already noticed that this is a possible uh, seed of uh, uh, risk. So I think they are more prepared. Uh, speaking of China, can China rein in credit without causing instability? That's a very tough work, but uh, at least uh, they are very, uh, uh, I mean, uh, conscious about this kind of risk and they are doing it in a gradual way. Of course, uh, uh, I, I hope that they can be successful about it. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, uh, there is a growth in based on the consumption, and uh, consumption is becoming much stronger now. And so the economy is now shifting to a uh, kind of a new uh, normal. So if there is a risk in China, what would that be? Yeah, once again, there is a clear concern about the financial system risk, and also over uh, kind of a capacity in some sectors and also climate change kind of uh, issues and the uh, pollution. But they are, uh, I mean, uh, fighting for that the front also. Yeah. China's top economic advisor, who's here, Liu mm -hmm. Yi, he talked about how China is planning to further opening up mm -hmm. the economy. Mm -hmm. And he said that some of these measures will exceed the expectations of the international community. Oh. What do you hope to see from China? Yeah, of course, uh, there are uh, kind of uh, concerns that uh, the, uh, for uh, the uh, external investors, the uh, uh, Ch Chinese system is not totally equal footing. So uh, they are now trying to open up further for financial industries and others. And also uh, we must uh, continue to uh, ask uh, China to pay uh, more, even increasing uh, attention to the importance of uh, the adhering to the international rules including for international uh, intellectual property rights. How about the internationalization of the yuan? Where is it now? Yeah, it was uh, one of And our, can yeah, it the, replace the dollar at some point? It's too early to say that, but at one point after the uh, crisis uh, 2008, uh, uh, the reason they did uh, try to do that is uh, not to internationalize uh, uh, renminbi, but uh, to provide the liquidity for trade for transactions. But of course, uh, when uh, it became uh, part of SDR, uh, so before that, uh, there was a clear kind of idea that uh, RMB can play more important role. But at this moment, uh, for foreseeable future, I think uh, Dala will continue to play important role. 
because of our financial system, because of uh, the uh, government policies about uh, uh, the financial uh, sector and also about uh, the usage of dollar and so on. So it's very difficult to uh, see the uh, kind of a uh, uh, sea change to the uh, status of dollar. Global trade has been chugging along even mm. though at half the pace that mm. it is meant to. But we saw the U.S. impose uh, tariffs on solar panels as well as washing machines. Are you concerned that perhaps a trade war... Any country, including uh, the United States, is based on the a kind of a free trade and uh, they uh, benefit from these things. So, so even if uh, there is uh, some adjustment, I don't think, I don't well, want Wilbur to call Ross, it... Uh, Wilbur Ross has come up to say that a trade war mm. is possible. But uh, I don't think it is up to the trade war. Yeah, there can be uh, some adjustment, I would say. And there is uh, some feeling that uh, some peoples are suffering from uh, trade. But overall, the countries are enjoying it. And it's very difficult to, and it shouldn't. Uh, be reversed. Uh, Nakao-san, we have to touch on the dollar because mm. uh, uh, Mnuchin has come out to say mm. that he is for a weaker dollar. What's mm. your reaction to that and what do you think the reaction would be from Asian countries? Yeah, it's uh, too early to comment on that uh, comment of uh, 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 Mr. Mnuchin uh, and uh, uh, I, I would like uh, to refrain from uh, mentioning about it. So you're not concerned? That he's made such a comment? Yeah, but, uh, I, 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 I cannot uh, make a comment at this point because it's too soon after his comment. Okay.